Hello friends, I, Tahir Bhatia, welcome you to my YouTube channel, Max DNA from Origin to Infinity. In this video, we are going to solve a question of CSINet June 2019 Mathematics Part B, Real Analysis. But before that, let me share something with you. That if you are preparing for CSINet Mathematics, then we have made a single book that consists of all the material, important results, counter examples, as well as 2000 plus solved questions from each and every topic. You can get this book from the link given below in the description. Now moving on to our question. The question is let f from r to r be a continuous and 1 1 function. Then which of the following is true? The options are a f is on to option b f is either strictly decreasing or strictly increasing option c there exist r belongs sorry there exist x belongs to r such that f of x equals to 1 and option d f is unbounded we will use counter examples to eliminate the incorrect options let us begin firstly for option a it says that f is on to in the question it is given to us that f is 1 1 and continuous so let us take an example of a function which is 1 1 as well as continuous let f of x equals to minus e raised to x it is definitely 1 1 for all the x you can find a value and it is continuous as well now here it is not on to because it will not cover the positive real numbers because f of x will be nothing but minus e raised to x which will be less than 0 for all x belongs to r so definitely it will not be on to and so option a which says that f is on to is incorrect or not correct moving on to option b here okay firstly let us take option c because with the same example we will be eliminating option c as well as it is given that f is 1 1 and continuous and we are again considering the same function f of x equals to minus e raised to x here we cannot find any x belongs to r such that f of x equals to 1 as f of x equals to minus e raised to x which is less than 0 for all the x belongs to r so option c which says that there exists x belongs to r such that f of x equals to 1 is again incorrect or not correct taking option d option d says that the function is unbounded but we have a function f of x equals to 10 inverse x which is 1 1 continuous and bounded so option d which says that f is unbounded is incorrect now we have already eliminated three options a c and d so the only remaining option that is correct is option b but here we will prove that as well if in the examination you are already eliminated three options then don't wait to prove the last option is correct you can directly take that and select that option for option b given f is 1 1 and continuous we know if a function is 1 1 and if x1 is not equals to x2 then f of x1 is not equals to f of x2 also f dash x equals to f of x plus h minus fx upon h and which will not be equals to 0 as x plus h is not equals to x this will give us that either f dash x is greater than 0 for all x belongs to r or f dash x is less than 0 for all x belongs to r which clearly implies that the function is either strictly increasing or strictly decreasing thus b is correct and we found our correct answer that is option b thank you and you can be a member of our social club and watch 270 plus videos on our youtube channel and get a complete study material for any higher mathematics competitive exam from our telegram channel